So here's the deal. I've always wanted to be able to record videos in multiple languages. Now I could go out there and spend years learning all those languages, but thanks to AI, I can do this now. Bienvenue dans la vidéo d'aujourd'hui. Nous allons faire des choses cool avec l'IA. J'espère que vous vous détendez et profitez de la vidéo. Merci. Namaste. Aur tutorial mein aapka swagat hai. Is video mein main aapko dikhane ja raha hu ki hum AI ka upyog karke cheeze kare, aaram kare aur dekhe hum kuch thande cheeze karne wale hain. Hola y bienvenidos al video de hoy. Vamos a hacer cosas geniales con IA. Espero que te sientes, te relajes y disfrutes. Gracias. Now, as you can see, that was my own voice, but speaking another language. This is really, really, really incredible. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can do the same in your own videos. I'll be showing you three tools today. The first one mainly helps you with just translating the audio in your own voice. And the second tool goes a step further to actually use AI to manipulate your lips. So it actually looks like you're speaking that particular language just the way I had in the intro. And for those of you who like to do everything on your phone, the third tool I'm going to be showing you today is an app that you can use to do actually all of this right from your phone. So let's get started with the tutorial. So the first tool I'm going to be showing you how to use today is a tool called Eleven Labs. And I've shown this tool a lot already on the channel, but they now have a new tool that actually allows you to do AI dubbing. And I'm going to put a link to that in the description. So I have Eleven Labs open here. And if you open it, you can just simply click on the dubbing tab right here at the top. So that's what I have opened here. So the first thing you want to do is just simply click on create new dub. Now you can put a title, but I'm just going to leave that blank. And then it asks you for the source language. Um, when you ask it to detect automatically, that works pretty well. And then it wants you to say what target language you want it to translate to. So if we look here, you see they have quite a number of languages. So for today, let's translate. I would like to hear how I sound in uh, German. So let's hear how my German sounds. And then the next thing you need to do is simply add a source for where the video is going to be coming from. You can upload a file from your computer or upload a file from any of these other internet sources. I'm going to start from the computer. And then I'm also going to show you how you can uh, get a file that's directly online after we do that. So I have this tutorial here that I worked on my latest tutorial. If you haven't checked it out, uh, check that out is how to use AI to do some pretty cool animations. And if you go down to some of the advanced features, it can actually detect the number of speakers. And I tried this out with a podcast and it actually translated the different voices for each of the speakers in their own voice, which was actually quite impressive. And then you can actually also set how much of the video Video you want it to translate. So in my case, I don't actually don't want it to translate the entirety of this video. I want just about 17 seconds of that. So I'm just going to put that here, uh, 0, 0, 17. And I think we have pretty much all of our settings done. So let's go ahead and hit the translate button and see what the outcome is. All right, so it's running right now. And as you can see right here, it says it's going to take about 40 seconds. So when you open an account with 11 labs, you can actually get a free account for, I think they give you about 10,000 tokens. And um, on average, it takes about 2,000 tokens for about a minute of video. So that gives you maybe about five minutes that you can use to actually test this tool for free uh, before you need to pay to upgrade. But it is actually worth it. And they're uh, out price is actually quite reasonable about five dollars a month is the plan that i'm on and that's enough for me to do all the sort of ai uh, stuff that i need to do on this so it's quite affordable all right so it's done right here and i can simply preview this by clicking view and let's hear how i sound in german good jetzt wo wir mit unserem audio angefangen haben kommen wir zum spaßigen teil der dinge wir fangen an zu animieren unser anime dafür verwenden wir ein tool von adobe namens animate from audio Ich werde einen Link dazu in die Beschreibung setzen. Jetzt gehen wir zu Animate from Audio und ich zeige Ihnen, was Sie... So as you can see, that's actually quite amazing. It actually sounds like my voice because it clones my voice, but then translate it for me to actually speak in another language. And I can play the reference audio for you to hear what the original audio sounded like. All right, now that we are done starting out our audio, let's get to the fun part of things. We're going to get started with animating our animations. For this, we're going to be using a tool from Adobe called Animate from Audio. I'll put a link to that in the description. Now, let's head over to Animate from Audio and let me show you. I don't speak German. I don't know how well that did. So if you speak German, let me know down in the comment if this was actually quite accurate. But uh, from the examples I've done and shared with friends who speak those languages, they've actually said that the tool is actually quite accurate and quite impressive. So let's do one more example and I'll show you how you can input a video that's already online. So I'm going to head over here to YouTube and we'll use the YouTube. YouTube example. I have my latest tutorial here on creating animated uh, characters, stories. 
So I'm gonna go on new dub and this time around, let's try, I would like to see how I sound in say uh, Chinese. So I'm gonna select that. And then as you can see, there's several online sources here. I'm gonna use the YouTube source and all I have to do is just put the link to the actual YouTube video. And again, I'll put the watermark on to reduce the tokens that I'm using since this is just a demo. And then I don't want it also to translate the entire thing. So this time around, we'll probably do the first, uh, maybe 10 seconds of the video to translate that, to save a little bit on the tokens. And as you can see right here, it shows you the approximate price that this translation is gonna take. And then I'm gonna hit on create. So now what's it gonna do in the background, it's gonna download that video and actually uh, translate the audio and then give you that section of that video that already has the audio translated. All right, so that's done. Let's see what that sounds like. So I'm gonna view it and play. So as you can see, it downloaded the video, translated it, and actually realigned back the audio on there. And if you notice, that particular one actually kept some of the sound effects. So it translated just my voice, but still left some of the sound effects in the video. And that background music, it's still there. It kind of reduces the fidelity of the background music, but it's actually uh, still there in, in the background of the video. So it's actually quite impressive how it's able to isolate just the voice and then translate the rest. If you're enjoying this video so far, I kindly ask that you hit that like button and also subscribe to get more content like this. Now let's move to the second tool. This tool goes a step further to actually change the way your lips are moving so it actually looks like you're the one speaking. And the tool is called HeyGen and I'm gonna show you how that works. All right, so I have HeyGen open here. So if you notice in that original video that we did on 11 Labs, Yes, the audio was translated, but if you notice that my lips wasn't kind of moving in sync with the translated audio because the translated audio was saying something different. Now that's where Ehejen comes in. They do both. They translate both what the spoken word is and also uses AI again to translate the lips to make it sound like you're actually speaking uh, that language. Now when you sign up for Ehejen, you can actually sign up for a free account. You get a uh, one uh, credit. That one credit is equivalent to about one minute rough of video that you can do for free uh, for you to test. And then the also drawback of the free account is that you're going to be put in a queue and it takes somewhere close to sometimes uh, maybe four hours or five hours before you get your translated video. But let's translate that same video that we just did on 11 Labs so you can see how different it is in the loops movement. So I'm going to click right here on upload and I'm going to put a link to Hagen down in the description also. And I'll upload the file. So the file is now uploaded and all you simply need to do is select your target language. If you notice right here, 11 Labs is actually the same one doing the translation. So the cloning of the voice and the translation is still happening on 11 Labs. All HeyGen is doing here in addition is that they are also, also gonna translate the lips of in the video to match the translation. So if we select here, they seem to have not as much languages as um, 11 Labs have. Uh, but they have a, a few of these. So I'm gonna translate this one this time around to French, and then I'm, I'm gonna start translating the video. Now, it's gonna put it on a queue, like I said, if you have a free account, and it could take somewhere close to four hours. All right, after a while, the video is now done. Let's see what that sounds like. Maintenant que nous avons fini de démarrer notre audio, passons à l'animation de nos animations, la partie amusante des choses. Pour cela, nous utiliserons un outil d'Adobe appelé Animate from Audio. Je mettrai un lien dans la description. So as you can see, compared to what we had from 11 Labs, and you can rewind the video to watch what that one was like, this one actually has my lips moving to the words that were said. It actually looks like I'm the one speaking those words, which is actually really, really incredible and really amazing. All right, finally, let's talk about how you can do all of this using just your mobile device. Now, the app you want to download is an app called Captions, and you can get that from the App Store. Once you download it and install it, it's not a free app, but they do have a three days trial, which you can use to try it out for free. And if you like it, you can pay for it. If not, you know, uh, don't use it after that. Once you have the app open, I have it open right here. What you wanna do is simply go to create new project. It's the little uh, purple button on the bottom. And then it's gonna ask you what type of project you wanna create because the app does several things. Now you wanna click on AI dubbing, which is the option right here at the bottom. So I'm gonna select on that. Now it's gonna ask you to select whatever video you wanna dub. So I'll select the same video that we used earlier on today. And then I'm gonna, uh, it gives you the option to trim the video. In my case, I would just say done. I'll keep it the exact length that it is right now. 
And then finally, you have right here the option to either proceed in English, which is the default. But in my case, I want to translate this to another language. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to select French. And then once you select that, it's going to ask if you want to translate the audio or the captions. So in my case, um, not just the captions, but I actually want to translate also the audio. So I'm going to click on translate audio and then it's going to start processing. It's going to take about maybe three minutes to run. And what it's going to do, it's going to do the same thing, clone your voice and uh, translate the audio in your voice. All right, so I have it done right here. And as you can see, uh, the audio is now translated in a different language. And I'm going to just play that for you to hear what that sounds like. Salut, bien ou quoi Dans la vidéo d'aujourd'hui, on va faire des trucs de ouf avec l'IA. J'espère que t'arrives, tu te poses et te kiffes la vidéo. Merci. So one thing you notice is that just like Eleven Labs, this also does not sync your audio with the lips. So the new language doesn't really match the movement of the lips. If you want an app that does that, there's a brand new app by the same company called LipDub. And that app uh, actually would also sync your lips just the way that HeyGen does. The only thing is that the app has a very long wait list right now, but if you do sign up, eventually they should let you in. But I'm gonna put a link to those two apps in the description and you can download them and check them out. This is how you can do this on your mobile device. I hope you enjoyed that. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. And if you want to see a tutorial on how you can use AI to create some pretty cool animations, that is going to be popping up right here. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.